Hello and thank you so much for joining us here at Life Essence. Today we have for you workers doing their jobs fast and with absolute perfection. Don't know what those papers are for, but a lot of people are getting their papers stamped fast. Hopefully someone's getting a bunch of money. A hot pan left on the floor burned a circle into the carpet. But no worries, just call this guy and he'll fix it like new. Wow, can anyone tell where the edges were? Okay, okay, she's gonna make some wontons, no big deal. What is going on there? Okay, filling first, then wrap with thumb and knife, and finally flip the wonton to the side. Wow, that's impressive. These stadium seats are all faded and ugly, but apparently torching them does wonders. I guess when they melt from the heat, they fix themselves in the process. Well, whatever works. Oh yeah, finger flicking good. Finger flicking good. Step 1. Pound a hole into the ground. Step 2. Insert the cup. Make sure to push it in all the way. Step 3. Paint the edges white. And that's how you make a putting hole. Oh, that's so satisfying. Ever notice the writings and drawings on the road? I always thought they used some kind of template and sprayed paint onto the ground. Well apparently all you need is a bucket of paint and a skilled worker. Give him some time and there you have it, a bicycle. It's ketchup, conveniently poured in mini cups so we can dip our fries in them. Nice, equally portioned and not a drop wasted. Wow, look at this guy control the bucket. It's like he doesn't even need fingers. You know, there comes a point in your career when looking is no longer necessary. In case it wasn't obvious, this guy is driving his excavator in reverse while accurately pushing the correct amount of gravel onto the side of the track. Now that's some math skills. Everyone likes to complain that their burgers aren't being served quickly enough. Well, this is what's going on behind the scenes. So it might be nice if we can give them some slack when orders pile up. Ah, I love how the compound just finds its place. All you have to do is nudge it a little bit. I feel like a fool, and here I thought I was the one that was supposed to spin around the gas can, not the other way around. Live long enough and at some point in your life, you will punch a hole in the drywall. No worries though, call this guy and he'll fix it like brand new. Watching this makes me want to cut a hole in the wall just so I can fix it like he did. What's amazing is not that he cuts the sheet metal with such ease and with such speed. What's amazing is that they fit perfectly with the curves of the roof. You never think about how they do it until you actually see how it's done. Very good job. Who needs heavy equipment when you have a lot of friends? I especially love the catchy song they sing to choreograph their moves. For some reason, I always thought they pushed in the new asphalt with a small shovel. This has a much cleaner finish. I love how it curves to make just enough room for the carts to pass. 
No, this is not a fryer, and he's not making some kind of flat pasta. Can you guess what he's doing? Did you get it? He's making fake lettuce to use as a part of a food display. It's amazing how good the end product looks. Anyone would be fooled if they're far enough away. This is a hard job when you're the one doing it, but it's so satisfying to watch the grime just melt away. Notice how he paints the V-shape first? It's so he can pick up the excess paint later on. I wish I knew this trick before I painted my walls. Oh yeah, it's synchronized hammer time. It would have made life much easier for this worker if the path were a straight line. But if it was, it wouldn't be as satisfying to watch. We all know how satisfying it is to peel the protective plastic off of new gadgets. Apparently the reverse is also true, because I now want this job. I wonder if the woman in the front gets paid more, because if you pay attention, she does most of the work. The woman behind her just picks up the slack. The trick is to tap the candy, not cut it, says the master on the left to the student on the right. The lettuce doesn't stand a chance against this master chef. There's just something about watching a blue wall being painted white. Okay, that's not something you see every day. I was taught to split the watermelon first. But the real problem I have with this method is how close the edge of the blade gets to this man's wrist. No one should even attempt this, but that was fast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do.